staff member who did the been working on this for years, maybe you can remind me. Um, Oh, Carrie, Bat Bat Carrie Battistone on the science side and uh, Assistant Chief Mark Jeter on law enforcement. So give them our thanks as well. I think that uh, I'm not a lawyer and I don't want to get into a long dissertation on the Fourth Amendment, but like many of the amendments to the Constitution, the first ten, uh, it's a balancing act. Um, these are wild animals that are the property of the state, and uh, when individuals are grant granted the right, uh, the, the privilege, not the right to possess them, they get, there's a balancing act. I think that the staff, the community has worked very hard uh, to nail down a, a, a reasonable, uh, and it, the Constitution says against unreasonable search and seizure. Um, and so I think this is very reasonable, and, I, and I'm proud of the effort that's been made to, to not just go with what was originally written, but to narrow this down and, and fine tune it, and I appreciate the support of the broad community. Um, with that, uh, we have no uh, action today. It's just discussion. We're going to have it again on the agenda in December for possible adoption. So thank you, everyone. Moving on to uh, item 29, uh, I'm going to postpone.